Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where now that we have the embarrassing 104.5 <laughs> episode out of the way uh, I do apologize <laughs> for that I <laughs> it's like the first seven minutes of it what was an hour and ten minute long video and I totally spaced that there had been anything of consequence in, <laughs> in that episode besides rage um, anyway I hope I edit out the last five minutes basically what I said is I'd like to get a purple uh, bow, purple hunter bow, not just this one, but like a, I guess like a regular one, as per comments um, from somebody who's been very helpful in the comments in the last few episodes. Also, the only, the next checkpoint or the biggest checkpoint that I need to worry about is after San Francisco. Once you go to San Francisco, um, the option to go to the first point of no return, because there's two, like in the first game, um, like where it kind of cuts off certain things at certain points, um, but the first one is optional after san francisco so you can go to san francisco run around but then run around do whatever you want um so that's good to know because that's always i'm always like meh but like at the same time i did just mention too i'm getting a little sick of collectible things um like i kind of did in the first game honestly what i ended up platinuming platinuming <laughs> that verbing it or whatever adjectiving it i don't know um I ended up platinum, platinuming the first game, but only after like two or three play, like two or three playthroughs or something, or going back to like my old save file and finishing up some things. Um, I don't mind doing the bandit camps. I might try to complete the bandit camps. Uh, cauldrons are out of the question. I don't care. Um, and like I just, they're just frustrating, and I don't enjoy them. I'd like to do the tall necks, and usually that would be like just no question. But since they've made it incredibly difficult to do them. At least some of them. Um, not sure if I'm going to get all the tall necks this time around, but we'll see. Uh, I would like to do some of that stuff, but I'm not going to... Oh my gosh, and there was these too. I totally forgot. The like uh, optical lens things and the contracts. Oh my gosh, this game has so many. <laughs> so many. I don't care that much. <laughs> I'd like to do the, the, these, the Vista points, that would be nice. God, I'll have to look at the achievements someday, because I was saying I would like to platinum this game, but honestly, I think this game's a tiny bit more overwhelming than Zero Dawn, and Zero Dawn was just, like, once I got it, like, I got it and I was good, you know? Now I'm like, oh my gosh. But, anyway. Where are we? We're all the way over here. Gall, I refuse to do the machine runs. I refuse to do the what? I, oh, I say I refuse to do the hunting lodge things, but you get some cool armor from it. That's the thing. If anybody can make a convincing argument that I need to pick up any of these things, any of these collectibles for a sweet armor set, you can make your argument. <laughs> Whether or not I'll actually do it is another thing <laughs> entirely. Let's see, we did just do a big thing. And I really don't know if I'm mentally prepared to, uh, what you call it? Do anything with Ted Farrow, honestly. I might run down here. There's so many collectibles in this game that's actually... Find Alba! Oh yeah, because that is that is in the ruins of San Francisco. I'm so I'm so angry already. I'm just get that name off my screen. I don't want to see it. I don't want to think about it. The survey drone. I could try to grab the survey drone, but there's probably a reason I didn't grab it. Oh no, is this the one that's outside Las Vegas? that are like in Las Vegas that like I couldn't latch on to no matter what, no matter how hard I tried. We'll see. I'm excited to go to San Francisco. I think that'll be really cool. Let's see. In real life, I have been to San Francisco, but I'm pretty sure it was only when I was quite young. I had relatives that lived there for a while. I remember I saw Austin Powers for the first time visiting them. My parents wouldn't let me watch it. My cousin thought it was a funny movie, and my parents saw me watching it, and they got mad. <laughs> and my... I hear you're heading to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. 
Thanks for the advice. Where? What? Uh, low end, south of the grove. Where's the grove? Falls Edge. Oh, is this the one? This might be the one that has, um... What? Wait. Ted Farrow's tomb is in Falls Edge? That's not San Francisco. That, yeah. Oh, maybe that's just part of a resupply thing? I think what, what I thought initially was that this town was the one where the specialty armor was at. Where that, that person was like, I can make you something real good. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> anyway, I was like, who was talking to me? But it was Kotalo, so that was good to hear. Find the origins of the ornaments. Oh, I was also needing to go... Um, this is that stupid one. Um... I was gonna go check on these guys. Wasn't Aloy mentioned I should go check on them? Whoop. Not. Right? Is this this is the pagoda? Yeah. Well, let's go see how they're doing. Oh, I'm all shoot! Oh my gosh, we're here in the daytime. Look at this. It was fun driving past Las Vegas after playing this part. I did end up driving through Las Vegas. I think I posted a picture on my Discord of the the spinny, spinny, wee-wee tower thing. Look at all these people. I don't think it actually spins, but it looks like it should spin. <laughs> oh, wow, now it's become like a whole proper town. Be welcome, Outlander. Thanks. Who is a... Who... Who is glowing green that's like somewhere nearby? This is fun. It changes. I, I really like that it has like a nice change. Same time, same place. Question mark. Oh, potion person. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Someday I'll probably get used to that. Yeah, this is their land. This is their land. Guys, <laughs> just set up on their house in there. You know. I don't know why we haven't had an incident. I guess they have bigger problems right now, bigger fish to fry. But a water source in the desert? No, no way. They'd let this just be on its own. Your health is my business. Machine rider, sir. Savior does. How's it going? Are you still angry with me? Well, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let me guess. You're here to help him, aren't you? What are you talking about? Yeah, we know. Moreland's next big invention. Aren't you? Uh, look, I am not going to stop you. But at least make sure you gear up properly, okay? But, uh, my <laughs> what? Well, you don't have a bow, so. Uh, but I can sell you some of those dealies that are just valuables to sell. Holy, I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. Only briefly. You only got... Oh! Nope, that's resonator blast melee technique that I still <laughs> freaking... I don't freaking know. Buy... I don't want to buy any of these. But I will buy, potentially. I do need some of these. How many? Let me have as many... Always need more of these. I don't need blast paste right now. I'm amazing. You know I haven't even talked to Morland yet. Yes, thank right? you. <laughs> but you will. I, I... And then you'll do that, that thing where you finish each other's sentences. And, and any kind of common sense flies out of the forge. Just do me a favor. 
Try to bring him back in one piece. Okay? You gotta trust us, man. You didn't trust us on the first one, and now you're wealthy beyond your wildest imaginings. Probably. It's a proper Osram town in the middle of Tadog territory. Oh, yes. Give me some of these that I love and adore. Listen here, unless you guys have like OSHA safety ways of getting upstairs, I don't know what you want from me. Everybody move. Okay. I'm just blind. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. A strike table that I probably- oh jeez, I'm yell. That I can't use because I haven't gone to the one strike thing, whatever it is. I hear you. I hear you talking about me. Locked? Why is it locked? Give it to me. I want it. Stemmer, did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city. Where fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free-flowing ale. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below, and in one of them, the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Alas, the gizmo lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo but couldn't get it? A door bars the way, locked by some confounded means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the Shard counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? <laughs> His voice is so nice. I'll see what I can do. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. And so our heroine went forth, and the wordsmith's hopes went with her. I'm surprised she lets him just kind of go on and on like that. See, she, she's usually not much one for uh, talking around in circles, but he's got a charming way about him. Don't care about food. Where is this other green... Oh, it's out here? I mean, I know when I was out there, it was like, over there. Notice machine riders are Whoop. There you are. Is that him? I think that's him. I think that's him out there. Hey, Loy. Yep. Oh, your timing couldn't be better. Over here. Hello, hello, hello. Why do you have a legendary chest up there I can't open? Hey, Loy. Oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air. Or will be soon. Greatness, huh? Behold, I call it Moreland's amazing elevating orb. Inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk use for their clan contests. Mm. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth he's, unseen by the eyes of the living. He's making an air balloon? Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon. Oh my gosh! People from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except... We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design. Old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy. It's perfect for the orb. But a swarm of <laughs> borrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it? <laughs> Please. Are you serious? Okay, Moreland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. Oh, yeah, Aloy. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Okay, okay. 
head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just not. <laughs> I really love him. He's very enthusiastic. Very, very fun. Like, how could you not? How could you not think he's great, you know? Just, just, oh, Hidden Ember and then Dune Hollow is separate? Can I, is this not the elevator? What if I just drop Dune Hollow? Oh, is Dune Hollow going to be below it? Anyway, I, okay, so let's go back. Hold on. Let's go back to the fact that I think we are building a freaking air balloon. We should have more building an air balloon. I guess I don't need the, the dang nab, um... What do you call it? The, so the sun wings? Solar wings? Those would be significantly cooler than an air balloon, but I think he's building an air balloon. And uh, that's bold. If I could if I could use that to get on top of that other tall neck? Again, not quite as so grandiose swim down anymore. As, a, as a sun wing, but I'll take it. This is so nice. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. Okay, you gotta go in to where the Tide Ripper was. Blech. And then turn. Oh, I forgot. It's not the one I need. Ow. Okay. There's the giant statue that Stemmer mentioned. The, the astronaut? Nearby. The astronaut statue? Or that's... I mean... Uh... Frick. <laughs> Which one? Oh, I did not even need to do that, actually. How do I... Get me up where I want to go? Nope. They kept the corpse of the Tide Runner here, or the Tide Walker, whatever we call it. I don't remember anymore. A ruin beside a metal tower. The Gizmo Stemmers after should be inside. The, uh, the Eiffel Tower? There's also a question mark over here, which I think is something in there, but I don't think I can get to it now. I think I could get to it when it was water. Don't think shock ammo will help. They're freaking spike snouts and snap maws. What? What that? Huh, let's see if I can't actually have a satisfying trapper. To, uh, scenario. Go down here. So I'm using the Berserker arrows a bit. That one got knocked down, which is nice. I think this is too far. There we go. This one's just staring at me. Hey, now they're now they're attacking each other, sort of. Oh, that one got up high. That's not cool. It's trying to attack that one. An image from the old world. Looks like part of the city. Oh, whoops. Dome. Yeah, I have, to, I have to back up for that. All right, well, it's just okay. a lot faster to Time hit them to with arrows. Them told me about. Which, you know, kind of duh, but I do try to go for the trap route. I prefer it. Ah, but alas. Uh, 
I was having a hard time trying to get traps laid from up there. It would only let me do the short range ones. What? Where is some people? Or not people. Jeez. Sweat. Oh, also, okay, yeah, we got the Vista Point. Uh, I will try. I didn't, I didn't expect a Vista Point underground. Let's see. But it seemed like I needed to be further away. Image was taken from somewhere above ground level. Maybe there used to be a bridge around here. What do you want me to do about that? Hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe it's that. I mean, that's the bridge we were on, but it's too close. Like that's the Eiffel Tower. I am pretty sure. I can't. It's hard to see. That looks like the Eiffel Tower, but we'd need to be substantially further away. Try this one. Calling gently. Got there we go. Very nice. I did have to double check online. I was not, I didn't think I had to go quite to the end of the bridge, but you did it. Go to the end of the bridge. Wow, I mean, look at it. Like, this is, this is what it looked like in its prime. You know, it's really cool. Very cool. I really like this one. Alright, we did that. Just dilly dallying. Any more? Okay, somewhere. I think here. I'm in the right place. Now, where's that gizmo? Is it there's a glowing thing? Oh, that's the door, probably, that they couldn't there. get there. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a code to open. I should check on Ruin. See if I can find anything that might Of course, happen. it's not gonna be that easy. I'm this close just looking it up, not gonna lie. What's in here? What's in here indeed? Give me the give me the oh. stuff. So the gizmo is actually called an ornament. I found one of these in another ruin. It sounds like there are more out there. Oh boy. And it looks like there's part of a code. Might be for the door. I don't know what any of this means, but here we go. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. A hatch. Huh? Might lead to another part of the ruin. A hatch where? But how to get to it? I don't even see this hatch. There's an opening at the top of the fence. At the top. Thank you for answering. Anyway, that was terrifying. I can find a way to get up there. He here. Uh, you want me to go? In there? Oh, in there. Uh. Uh. I mean, can I just. I think I realistically could just break this, but. Crates could help me reach the opening at the top of the fence. Gal, Aloy, you gotta say these things sooner. Crates. 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 And, oh! Grab crate. I can't 
can't pull this out. <sighs> okay. Like the crate it's on a top's blocked. Double crate. What if I hit it? This could work if I was further back. Oh my gosh. Maybe there's a way to pull the top crate off. Oh, also, I think it was Aurora, uh, Aurora in the comments, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, you're, for why I couldn't attach on the video that you were seeing that I was having issues with at 104.5, it probably was because I was so frustrated I didn't the crates, hold on to it. The one out. Oh, it went, okay. I was not, sorry, I was listening to something, I was paying attention to what was in my head of, uh, yes, I probably needed to, uh, Stuck. Hold down. I think I can pull the top crate off. What do you right mean spot. if you this is actually this is so incredibly frustrating. I really hate the pull caster. Like I really don't like it. It's not it doesn't make my life easier. It makes my life harder because they have unnecessary unnecessarily difficult necessarily difficult thingamajigs. You know? There's a way to pull the top crate off. Shut up. I don't think I'm allowed to, like, pick these up. This crate's not tall enough to reach the opening. Yeah? What do you want me to do about that? Oh, maybe I have to actually... I don't know, I'm just... I need to find a way to stack the crates. Yeah, you're telling me, but I don't... I don't know how I'm supposed to get them up high. There's like... I don't know. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Potentially. Slide it up this little ramp back here. I move one of the crates. Yeah, up yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a I genius. Be able to stack it on top of the other one. I came up with that without needing to hear it from her. <laughs> but I guess I don't know if they if that was just because I was in the proximity of the ramp or or if it's like it's been long enough of you wandering around. We'll give you a, we'll give you a break, you know. But like, I don't know, maybe it's me being just a nitpicky, no fun kind of person, but in the previous game this would have been a lot easier. Wouldn't have had to finagle all this stuff. Like, there. it just feels Should very gimmicky. The opening now. Made it. Budge from this side. Like what? Why? It won't. This won't budge from this side. What do you mean it won't budge from this side? What do you want me to do? You want me to? Oh, you probably want me to go through this stupid thing here and pull this. Or not? Because uh, for whatever arbitrary reason. Oh, I had to be a little further back. Okay. Right. Let's see where this leads. Uh. Outside. What else is up here? Oh.
This seems complicated. An administrative office. Like the ornaments were part of something called the Knights of Lights holiday promotion. A way to celebrate old world holidays by changing the holograms above ground. But how? Oh, the other part of the code's here too. I should have what I need to open the door. Okay. Gather the gizmo. Oh, it's the Christmas one. Got it. Time to head back up to Stemmer. Maybe we can figure out how to make this thing work. Well, was that? So, okay, this wasn't the... Okay, this is not the... Okay, I thought they were two separate ones, but one's the orb and the other is the ornament. This... Go to the room with the dragon statue. I see, I see. Okay. Well, we got a vista point. And we got an orb. I Every time I see orb, though, I just think of, like, the meme, like, contemplating your orb. And it's just... I laugh a little. I think it's funny. Uh, let me actually select this quest. Have I... I have talked to Zoe. I thought we would... Yeah, wait for Zoe to complete the reboot code. We need to talk to her again? Because I thought since we had to meet her, we'd be... We'd be golden on that, but... Maybe not, but anyway. We'll go ahead and call this one here. Hopefully it's not too long or too short. Um, But I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. Oh... Boy, I think, yeah. I think I'm gonna focus mostly on, like, quests and stuff and not collectibles, because that's driving me up a wall a little bit. There's just so much. But, um, again, if anybody has a good argument to be made for... I know there's a p specific trap armor that I would really like to get, but it requires doing all of the hunting lodge stuff. I just don't... I don't think I can do that. I don't think I have the patience for that right now. Last time when I platinumed Horizon Zero Dawn... I actually live-streamed trying to get all the little quests that I hadn't done, or all the achievements that I hadn't gotten yet, which included... Uh, I think it included the the hunting lodge, of, like, stuns and stuff like that, and a couple other things that were just a bit time-consuming, but, you know, weren't crazy. They were just... I think that was the hardest thing, was the hunting lodges for me, getting, like, the, the full suns and all the hunting lodge activities or something. But, um, anyway... That's that. This is this. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Rescalito, my sapling tier patron, and also Adam, my other sapling tier patron. Thank you both so, so much for your support. I appreciate it a lot. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is super awesome and is super bestest, and I really appreciate you very much. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.